Chicago, Illinois, February 1st, 2018 at 3 p.m. On a cold winter day, a stroke survivor is discharged home. According to the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association, someone in the U.S. has a stroke every 40 seconds. Someone dies from a stroke every four minutes. Stroke is the leading preventable cause of disability. Stroke is the number five cause of death in the U.S. About 800,000 people in the U.S. have a stroke every year. Worldwide, someone has a stroke every two seconds. Stroke is the number two cause of death behind heart disease. One in six people will have a stroke in their lifetime. Hi, Mr. Salazar. I'm Dr. Ortiz, one of the emergency physicians. Could you tell me your first name? Tell me your first name. What is his first name? Joe. Joe. And keep it up. Hold it up. Very good. Could you lift up your right arm? Lift up, okay? Keep it up. Okay? Try again. Keep it up. Okay. The NINDS trial published in December 1995 demonstrated that patients treated with IV TPA within three hours were at least 30% more likely to have minimal or no disability at three months. The benefit is well established for patients with disabling stroke symptoms regardless of age and stroke severity. Only around 5% of patients with acute ischemic stroke in the U.S. receive this treatment. Davis. I'm one of the neurologists in the neuro ICU. I'm going to be taking care of you. So we're worried that you had a stroke and we're worried that you had one in the left side of your brain that's affecting the right side of your body. But fortunately, your wife was able to call 911 and get you here immediately, and you're able to get a powerful clot-busting medication to kind of help and help you improve. Uh, but we've found since you've been here that your blood pressure is a little high. So we're gonna have you start taking medication to reduce your blood pressure and help prevent any further strokes. Okay, Mr. Salazar, here's your stroke packet and information. So far since we went over the packet and everything, do you or Mrs. Salazar have any questions for me? No, uh, it was pretty clear. Thank you. My name is Lisa. I'm a speech pathologist. I'm going to evaluate your swallowing and then afterwards your communication. I'm going to give you some things to eat and drink, some ice and some water, and I'll feel your throat as you swallow. Okay. Here's a little bit of ice. You can chew, swallow when you're ready. Good morning. My name is Erin. I'm from Occupational Therapy. I'm Claire from Physical Therapy. We came in and we wanted to see how you were doing moving around. Alright. All right. As you're walking, can you count up by twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Our patient was discharged and he is a new stroke survivor. Because his wife recognized the signs of stroke, she promptly called EMS and the patient received the gold standard of stroke care. Unfortunately, many patients arrive out of the time window for appropriate treatment. Lack of familiarity with stroke symptoms, hope that symptoms will resolve spontaneously, and other factors contribute to the delay in patients seeking care. Intense public outreach and educational programs are necessary to address these issues. Think fast. If you or a loved one experience facial droop, arm weakness, or speech difficulties, make note of the time and call 911 immediately. Do not forget that time is brain. Neuroscience is essential to adequately monitor patients with critical and time-sensitive neurologic injuries. Neuroscience is essential because it gives people a second chance. Neuroscience is essential for understanding basic communication and swallowing, things that make us fundamentally human. Neuroscience is essential to help patients regain their independence in functional and meaningful activities. Neuroscience is essential for future discoveries and treatments. Neuroscience is essential because it is rapidly revolutionizing the treatment for our critical patients. Neuroscience is essential because it saves lives. The teamwork in neuroscience is essential because it improves the outcome of our patients. 